Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we're back with some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Yeah, recording again today. I'm trying to keep a daily schedule here at least until tomorrow because, well, you know, I mean, after that I'm going to be going back to work, you know, so I'm not necessarily going to be able to be uploading on such a consistent schedule, so why not play a bunch of Dungeon Crawl now while we still can? So here we are, back with Zabirius the Demon Spawn Necromancer. Well, that's his title. We are actually started off as a conjurer, but we are uh, experts in both, to be honest. And I was just thinking, it looks kind of cool. we uh, I didn't realize before, we have these Zs following us around. We have these uh, zombies or skeletons or whatever, symbolized by Z, so it's sort of like they're our henchmen or whatever, with the big Z for Zabirius on there. So that's pretty awesome. We've got a bunch of sort of brand name troops, which we can summon at our disposal. So we've definitely got, you know, brand name recognition going on here. Z for Zabirius. Anyway, we just made our way through the crypt. It was pretty easy, not that difficult. We had some some harrowing moments, but nothing too bad. We just used to spell undead most of the way, as we expected. And we have a little bit of loot. Not quite as much loot as I hoped, to be honest. But we did get, for example, a staff of energy, which we're going to hope to use in the future. And a bunch of money, which we can spend on something. I was thinking that we would probably spend it on a book. So, uh, yeah, let me just make sure that we're recording here. I go up here, and... Yeah, still recording. Sorry, just gotta check that. So what's the spell that we're going to learn? Well, first of all, how many spell levels do we have? First of all, we have... Um, four spell levels left, which is not that many. But it is a fair amount, and also we could possibly forget one of these things and free up a little bit more spell levels. So, for example, we might forget... Dazzling Spray at this point, I think, is the most forgettable of our things. Some of these other things we're going to want to forget as well. I was thinking, you know, I mean, as I see it, there's a couple of real options for which spell we should try to learn at this point. There's Deflect Missiles, which is great, and we will probably try to learn that at some point. Then there's Bolt of Draining, which I don't think is necessarily a good idea. I think that it was a good spell for us, but it would be a little bit short-sighted to take it now. It might be worth replacing Agony with Bolt of Draining or something like that. How many Amnesias do I have? There's a bunch for sale. I think I have one. Oh, I, I dropped it here. Yeah. So, there's not that much Amnesia. It's possible we could pick up Bolt of Draining for a minute, but I think we might prefer to save that. In any case, we're going to probably go with the third choice, which is Orb of Destruction, because I think Orb of Destruction is just going to be a critical spell for us we also found the Staff of Energy, which means we can cast it for free, hunger-wise, and that would be sort of a limiting factor for us, casting a level 7 spell. And I think we can cast it pretty cons um, relatively consistently, right? If we search for that and look at it. 8%. Uh, yeah, we can cast that, no problem. So I think that's the move. I think what we're going to do is pick up the Amnesia... Read it, forget Dazzling Spray, because that is a last level spell. And then we are going to go find Orb of Destruction. Book of Power. Go to it. Book of Power for only 585 gold is definitely a bargain. That's another factor, I guess. We can save a little bit of money. Because we're probably going to go down to Elf next, I think is what I was thinking. I think we can handle the Elves. And we might even find another few shops down there. Who knows what we'll find down there. In fact, it might have been worth saving this money a little bit, just in case I found the bookshop down there. But Orb of Destruction is what I want to do. Memorize Orb of Destruction. Yes. Which is now D. That doesn't really make sense. Oh, sure it does. Orb of Destruction. D for Destruction. Good enough for me. And we'll go back and drop off the book here. We have eight slots. That's not a whole lot of slots. 
Uh, especially considering we were hoping to find some loot in Elf. Maybe we should drop a little bit of it. I'm not sure what to drop here exactly. I mean, we are carrying a lot of really sort of unnecessary stuff, I know. Like, we can drop these potions of invisibility. Or maybe I should just use them. Um, we can drop, I don't know. We want a fireball? Are we ever really going to use it? Maybe we should just use it up right away. Polymorph is unlikely to work. Falchion of Pain is something that I do want to use in Elf, actually. Hmm. Potion of Might. I don't know. Maybe we should just use some of these things. Or just drop them in Elf and go back for them. It doesn't really matter that much. Alright, for now, we're going to set N equal to B. Because we can afford to use that. The Elves are afraid of pain still. Some other things in the game, not so much, but... If we're going to Elf, then that'll be awesome. The Elves can feel our pain. We're just trying to make them understand how difficult it is. And here we are in the blue, green, and white shiny glass halls of the Elves. Pretty cool place. Alright, these guys don't seem so tough, but let's still treat them with due diligence. I think we're going to throw up a death channel and then a battle sphere and then... Oh, well, my battle, my dazzling spray is gone now. So just mystic blasts, I think. Yep, mystic blast works fine. And there we go, they're all killing each other and getting summoned as ghosts. This is... All seems to be going according to plan. And I don't even have my uh, staff of energy out. I can just chop these guys up a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, you can die. There you go. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So that wasn't so tough. It leads me to think that, yeah, these regular elves are not going to be an issue for our level of character. Elf 3 is, of course, the tricky part, right? L3, you run into a bunch of jokers, but so long as you treat it with respect. Whoops. There we go. Sorry, that was just a meaningless alarm. Which I set for myself sometimes just to be more aware of the passage of time. Alright. So, alright. Yeah, L3 is where it gets tricky. But hopefully it won't be too tricky. Right, like this elf, even these elves, we can just magic dart them down. I guess we'll keep up the death channel. We might as well have this ghost army thing going on. And mystic blast from a distance. Yeah, until it doesn't work anymore. And, uh, I don't know, just let's get in here a little bit. Back off, and just, mm, just keep hitting them with the Falchion of Pain. I don't think it matters that much. I could haste myself or something, but they don't seem to be an issue. I mean, even these knights are just, you know, they're white on the threadometer there, so. And our Amulet of the Gourmand is working fine here. We do maybe want to switch that out eventually, as I was talking about in the crypt. We realize that it doesn't quite become as useful in other parts of the game. But yeah, all of this, um these meaty sort of creatures, these living creatures here, this is this is perfect. We'll free up a bunch of spell levels eventually by forgetting things like Agony and Death Channel and things that don't necessarily work so well in the later parts of the game, and that's when we can get enough spell levels to do things like, you know, a uh, Death Store and things like that that we'll want to cast in the late, late game. Uh, Potion Restore Ability is fine. And yeah, eventually we'll swap out the Gourmand for maybe Warding or something like that. Ugh, and that's what I was thinking of just now. I just said it. We wanted to get warding so that we could, you know, not get drained here. I knew that there's dangerous bolts of draining about. Yeah, so he's showing us the benefits of having bolt of draining. But whatever. Stupid conjurers. Stupid sorcerers. They should all die. I guess I should have cast Death Channel here, right? Not too late. Blow him up. 
blow him up. And yeah, we restored our death, our um, our life force. At least, yeah, we have. Yeah. In fact, I'm tempted to go and do that right now. I mean, having the engorged status is nice, but it's a little excessive now that we have a staff of energy. Hmm. It might be nice just having the the negative energy resistance here. We'll see. We'll clear it out after this floor. It's not really giving us any real trouble. Can we get to these guys, or can we just see them through the glass? It's a little silly. All right, I have a death channel. Is that a battle sphere? Yeah, they made a battle sphere. All right, battle sphere fight. Absolutely. I'm all about that. Sing zang. These guys don't know anything about battle spheres. They think they're experts. They think they know a thing or two about conjurations. These guys know nothing. New kind of staff. Oh, whoops, I accidentally summoned the guy with the staff. Oh, well. Scroll of Silence is uh, not really for us. I think we'll just drop it. It only really comes in handy in certain very niche situations. And we being spellcasters as well, it, it doesn't really help us very much. Battlesphere fight. You're on. It's like a pillow fight, basically. Basically. <laughs> Same basic idea. Uh, Ice Beast, huh? I don't know that one. I have to admit that. So I just have to hit you with a Mystic Blast. Bang. Yeah, we don't know any of the summoning. I was thinking that we probably should learn the spell Abjuration as well at some point. Uh, there's so many spells that we need to learn. Battle Sphere, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast. Yeah, these so-called sorcerers are not even impressive to us. We demand to speak with the manager here. <laughs> oh no, we got smitten by the mysterious elven gods. Don't even really have a name. I mean, it's not even made clear who the elven gods are. I like to imagine that it's probably Vehemet. It seems like that's the, who the deep elves would probably worship. But that's just conjecture, honestly. I don't know for sure. Alright, uh, we reached almost everywhere. Uh, put up the repel missiles again. I'm thinking, yeah, can we go get that amulet of warding? It's right around the corner. Let's go and get it real fast. Just to make sure we don't get mega drains. And we sort of want to get used to not having the uh, amulet of the Gourmand. Because even if we don't have that, we're going to use other things. I mean, when we go to slime, we're going to work corrosion the whole time, basically. And when we, in general, we hope to find resist mutation. Um, you know, if we go to someplace like the Abyss. And if we, uh, situationally, you see something like a uh, Shining Eye or a uh, Cacodemon. So anyway, we'll take the warding for now. And we'll put it on. Whoops. Put that on. And then drop Rotting Flesh. And the Amulet of the Gourmand. And now we'll go back to Elf. Oh, Mr. Ogre. Oh, man, I totally forgot to do something else. All right, I, uh, I realized... We got this sweet Hellfire ability in the last video, and then we never even used it. So it's like, I was all excited for it, but, you know, I mean, not excited enough to use it, I guess. So now I was thinking, let's definitely try to use it against something that we see. This ogre seems like a good target, right? Unsuspecting target here. Let's see uh, how he fares against Evoke Hellfire. Wow! Nice! <laughs> that was awesome. I don't know if that was total overkill. That was cool. I'm glad it one-shot at an ogre at least, though. Those things are totally inconsequential at this point, but... Oh, an adder. <laughs> you don't know what you're in for, buddy. I failed to use my ability. What's the failure rate on that? 10%? Oh, no. Well, this time you're done for. Bam. Killed the adder. <laughs> Taste the fires of hell. You snake. You deserved it. All right. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, we might have to try that against more dangerous foes. I don't know, we might try it against some elves or something, see if it works out. I mean, we've got other spells like that, but 
makes me feel like we don't really need to learn fireball or anything like that. Especially if we pair it with regeneration, you know, I mean, we could possibly just keep hurling hellfire. It hurts a little bit, you know. I'm not going to say it doesn't sting. But I'm, it's really nice to have that at our disposal. Great. All right. In the elves. Finished with elf one. Maybe we'll find something interesting here. Maybe we'll find a shop or a wizard laboratory or something. And we found the book of alchemy, did we? What, anything in here that's worth learning? No. Not really, right? None of those things are nearly within our purview or interests. All right, well, let's check out Elf 2. Hello, Elves. Can we just hit you with a Fashion of Pain a couple of times? Don't even feel like using magic against him. It's not even... Let's not even dignify him with that, you know? Calls himself a mage. Elf Skeleton, nice. Ring of Ice, no. Meat Ration, maybe we'll just eat eventually. Debuff Conjurer is slightly more dangerous. I mean, it can drain us. We do have the double negative energy resistance now, which is good. I guess Battlesphere is probably appropriate in just Mystic Blasts. Mystic Blasts. We could also try Hellfire. Uh, like here, Deep Elf Death Mage. Let's go for it. I'm gonna try it. Hellfire. On both these guys. Wow! <laughs> it got him. Look, they all died. Alright, well, how about again? On all three of these guys. Bam! Nice! That's so awesome. Okay, well, it hurts me a little bit. Nobody's gonna lie about that. Oh, that's so awesome, though. Oh, so I gotta do it some more. I'm addicted now. Like fire! Dark fire! This fire in my skin! Boom! That's a uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, for those of you who don't know. We just gotta blow these guys up. We're just using magic here. Let's cast Regeneration, and then we can maybe use that a little bit more. Okay, that was awesome, and I'm sure I've thrown up a death channel as well for maximum awesomeness there, so I'm summoning ghosts and hurling hellfires as well. Alright, our demon has truly ascended to hell levels by this point. We have I've properly ascended to the level of true demons, because we do not use regular fire, but hellfire instead. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work against a lot of demons, you know, so... We should appreciate it while it lasts. It might not really actually be terribly useful. I think it's annoying. I think it burns through all of your fire resistance. You know, I mean, there's no such thing as hellfire resistance for a person, a player character. But a lot of the demons have it. You know, a lot of the demons have hellfire resistance. Uh, yeah. This guy will just stab with the Fashion of Pain a couple times. This is definitely time to use Hellfire. Bam! <laughs> and then we'll regenerate real quick. Battle Sphere. Yeah, how about a couple of Mystic Blasts? I haven't even tried Orbit Destruction. I really haven't found anything that has warranted it yet. Shiny Buckler. We haven't found a shield yet, have we? No, nothing good. Stop blinking, please. Alright, fine. Cool, yeah, this guy could just get chopped. Honestly, yeah, these guys are, are no issue. Alright, bring it on. You know, we're going to take this all the way down to the... the bowels of this organization, you know? I was going to say take it up to the highest level of the organization, but actually I think we're going deeper, so. Killed this summoner, so those things should evaporate now. Yeah, surely they do. 
Deep Elf Priest is not a problem. You can just get Mystic Blasted or whatever. I have no respect for your religion, Deep Elves. You do not impress me. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going down. Let's see if we can Hellfire even the, the top level. Top level personnel here. Is that a glass door? It's interesting that that door is blue. Interesting. Okay, we might even get a stab in here. Fine. It wasn't quite a stab, but okay. And a new kind of amulet. That's pretty neat. I hope it's resist mutation, because I was just talking about how much I needed one of those. It is! Good. Alright, Elf is paying off already. That's a, you know, key, key ingredient here to our ascension kit. Alright, we'll, we'll keep the amulet of warding on for now, though, although we really appreciate having that around. Deep Elf Conjurer. Okay. We'll back off here. Battle Sphere up. Mystic Blasts. Nice. Yeah, I'll show you how to conjure. Conjurer. Is that all you can conjure, Saruman? <laughs> Alright. Um, good. Deep Elf Death Mage. Okay, so this looks dangerous. I'm tempted to use Hellfire right here. Nah, okay, let's just back off. Yeah, here we go. Alright, Hellfire time definitely on these guys. Yup. It did something. Alright, time for more. Yeah, can we get all three of those guys? Definitely. Okay, we gotta keep going. I was gonna say we gotta regenerate, but no, we gotta finish these guys off before he summons any more demons. Yep, he died. And we gotta regenerate here. And then we gotta just keep throwing more hellfire. <laughs> and keep going. Oh no, we gotta just keep going. Oh, this is so bad. What am I doing here? <laughs> Destroy them, burn them with hellfire. Okay, whoops, they, I, I can't keep this up. Alright, cast haste. He's almost dead, but he's not. Are you fast? Uh, how about if we use a wand of fireball here, which is sort of like hellfire junior. Alright, got him. That was good. Now I'm tempted to just teleport away. <laughs> I am fast. He's a blade master. Can I run away from these guys? Yeah. Demonologist. I hope I don't get banished. I'm regenerating. Oh, this is all good. We're all good. We're fine here. I'm just gonna run. Cut and run. Throw in a little bit of hellfire and mix things up a little bit. And then run away from these guys. Uh, yeah. So where was the door exactly? Pretty far away from here. How are you in terms? Extremely resistant to hostile enchantments. So I'm not going to be able to do any paralysis tricks or anything like that. But I am really fast. And I am regenerating pretty quickly. I am pretty hungry, I guess. But look at it. I mean, I'm just cruising along. My screen is calling a little bit less now. That's a little annoying, but okay. Hmm. Can you see invisible? No, it can't. So let's go invisible. Oh no, I forgot. I'm possibly going to get contaminated from that. Well, I'm not sure what to say about that. Oh no, wow, this hurts quite a bit. 
Um, so what do we do about this? He can't see me, but he can still hurt me pretty good. Uh, might be time for teleport here. Yeah. At least we've got an invisible teleport thing going on here. We can just sort of run away while we're working on it. Okay. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that was maybe not the most elegant way to handle things here. I hope I do not get... Yeah, I didn't get terribly contaminated. That's fine. I'm glad I didn't. Let's eat a little bit of uh, meat ration there. Good. No problem. Hey, look, a shop. That's neat. Let's check it out. Hmm. Whoa, the elemental staff. Whoa. It's beautiful. I gotta get that staff. Right? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like that's the only thing to do. Um, how many potions of curing do I have right now? I've got four potions of curing. I don't need to buy those. I feel like I should save my pennies and buy that elemental staff. I mean, it's not like the most useful thing for me right now, but it's like... It just seems like the sort of thing that a grand demonic wizard of our degree of hubris would desire to have. <laughs> An ancient artifact of unimaginable elemental power. I mean, saying that, you know, I mean, we have no elemental ambitions. You know, maybe it's because we just focus it all onto a staff. And if our evocations is high enough, we actually might be able to smack people around with it pretty good. You know, I mean, we'd have to work up our staves, which would be annoying, but... It's not like we worked up our blades that much. We could work up our staves a little bit and sort of smack people. It would be fun. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know. That's, that's a great... A great thing you've got for sale there, Mr. Shock. The elves are fine craftsmen, you know, I mean, you got to expect them to be holding on to some kind of magical artifact. Alright, well, I'm impressed with that. Maybe one day we'll get a little bit of money, we'll return here and buy that. Hold that for a Shock. We'll be back. And now I'll just auto-explore around some more. Mystic Blast, these guys, if we run into any more difficult ones, we'll throw Hellfire at them again until they relent. Here's a Deep Elf High Priest, for example. Yeah, definitely. You, you're getting the hell fired. Actually, maybe I should use my magic first. Alright, time for a Mystic Blast. And then a Mystic Blast again. Yeah, fine. Deep Elf Blade Master. I don't like him. Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast. Mystic Blast. Uh, how about let's haste ourselves. Back off here. Mystic Blast a few more times. Battle Sphere and Mystic Blast. Mystic Blast. Got him. Okay, but definitely took a little bit more magic than I would have liked. Maybe a couple Orbs of Destruction would have been appropriate there, even. Whoa, a secret trove of treasure. Aw, are you serious? Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. But, we don't really have the... The cash? So it's like, wait, what's the deal with this? Secret Trove of Treasure. Do we, Is this the thing where we need to pay the, pay the price to be able to get in? We'll check that out in a second. I think so. I think if it were a caravan, it would say so. I was going to say, we don't have the money for it. What do you need? It needs the presence of the Horn of Garion to function? No problem. Okay, this is brilliant. This is an amazing find. It didn't require anything specific. We're just going to be able to go in the normal course of the game. We're going to fight Garion. Maybe we can fight him even a little earlier, possibly. And uh, then we'll be able to get a little bit of free treasure. So let's definitely not forget about this. Horn of Garion means free treasure for us. Deep Elf Annihilator means Mystic Blast, I guess. Mystic Blast. Mystic Blast. Yeah, I sort of want to fight him on his own terms, you know, I mean, just have a conjurer battle. 
it's almost unfair to use the Hellfire. And it's not like he touched us, you know, I mean, the Hellfire would have hurt us. <laughs> Deep Elf Fighter is literally less than the dirt on my boots. Deep Elf Priest is dead. Yeah, maybe I should be ghost arming this situation, ghost arming this situation a little bit more. Deep Elf Annihilator. Uh, okay, yeah, let's throw up a death channel. Why not? Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast. Now I've got a Ghost Elf Annihilator at least. Uh, again, yeah, Battle Sphere, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast, Mystic Blast. Deep Elf Demonologist. I think that yeah, this guy deserves a Hellfire. Yep. Show you a demonology. You think you know a thing or two about demonology. I am a demonologist. We'll regenerate, and then we'll do it again against this guy. Because those guys are annoying and tough. This guy, yeah, we can just use our magic against an annihilator. Yep. Good, you're all gonna die. You're gonna die as well. Oh, what? Hellfire. Oh, it's on. Did you see that? Did you see him throw a hellfire at me? It is on. Use... Oh, I failed to use it. Okay, well this time, for sure. You're done. Now we gotta back off, because I know they're just gonna keep coming. Close the door. Distant slurping noise? What? Don't eat all my treasure. Ugh. Slime creatures. Oh, I hope it was just a, uh, shifter. Shapeshifter course does not have a reanimatable skeleton. It's possible that it's made out of like gray goo or something. Deep Elf Death Mage, yep, time for um Hellfire. That's just so much fun. Again, yeah, Hellfire. Regenerate. Um yep, just Mystic Blast, I guess. Deep Elf Sorcerer. Hellfire. <laughs> rat? Where'd that rat come from? There's Deep Elf Annihilator. Uh, get out of Battle Sphere and throw out some Mystic Blasts, I guess. And how about just a little bit of stab in here just to finish him off there. Yeah, I think this was not really an issue, was it? You got any more tricks up your sleeves, elves? Here's Deep Elf Blade Master. I think this warrants some um, Hellfire. And a Mystic Blast here, just to finish him off. Right, Mystic Blast. What? Didn't work? Alright, yeah, I got him with the uh, Battle Sphere Blast, just a uh, Magic Dart. And then Hellfire. Bam. What? At least I repelled the negative energy. That worked fine. Fine. How about a Mystic Blast? Oh, no. Really? Oh, no. I don't like that. So we're going to dispel it. And then kill him. Good. Deep Elf Demonologist can banish us. So we definitely just want to hit him with Hellfire. Quickly as we can. What is that? The Scimitar of Flaming Death? <laughs> Uh, okay. That's hilarious. I don't know if we can really legitimize using that. But it's amazing. Boys, <laughs> it's cool. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. I'm glad we found it. Whoops, I used an orb of destruction. That's not what I meant to do. Oh well. An ancient steam dragon armor? That could be really interesting. Come on, something good. Show me something good. Uh, come on. We're just going to identify that. And a fine ruby amulet. I didn't even notice that. Um, okay. It's not bad. It's really not bad, to be honest. I don't know if it's worth wearing. I'm not, like, super excited about it, but... Just a steam dragon armor. I mean, it could be actually pretty good. Let's check out this ruby amulet as well. 
Nice. That is actually a pretty good amulet. That's a an amulet just to wear all the time, I think. Let's put that on right now. And I mean, it's it's obviously superior to just a amulet of corrosion, plus the magic resistance, plus the stealth. I mean, for the same, yeah, our stealth is still not great. But that is a fine amulet, actually. I'm I'm pleased with that one. Scimitar Flaming Death is hilarious. What's going on out of here? What's all this then? Break it up, break it up, you guys. Um, just Hellfire. Oh, I messed it up. Can I agonize you? Yeah, agony, agony, agony. What? And now Mystic Blasts? Oh, really? Use the ability haste on myself. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, that's what I meant to do. And then stab him a couple of times. Show you who's a blade master. Ah, uh, just eat a little bit. Deep Elf Annihilator. All right, Hellfire. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and we'll regenerate. Perfect. Three potions of magic and a master archer. That's nothing to mess with. We're just going to use Hellfire against this guy. And again. Stone of Tremors. Interesting. Ghost Crab. Also interesting. Definitely time for Hellfire. You're starving. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Let's just eat this meat ration. Good. And, uh, Hellfire. Oh, I messed it up. Mystic Blasts. Mystic Blasts. What? Oh, um, what? Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. Defell Annihilator will blow. Just use magic. Blow him up the good old-fashioned way. A Warped Cloak. Okay. This is interesting. The elves, see, the elves really know how to do it. Book of Fire is okay, but now that we have Hellfire, I think we've sort of lost interest in actually studying fire. It's like, what's the point? Crystal Arbalest would be pretty cool if we weren't masters of conjurations already. You know, uh, one day we'll have a crossbow game. Warped Cloak I'm interested in. Let's use it. Yes, a plus two cloak of plus four slaying. I think that's good. We're going to wear it. and just drop the Cloak of Darkness. I mean, do we have invisibility at our available? We, we, we can't go invisible anymore, but at this point in the game, I don't think it's really worth it. Plus four slaying is just good if we're gonna continue to stab people. Ruined blowgun, well, we don't carry around a blowgun anymore. Could be awesome, but oh well. Stone of Tremors is possibly worth carrying around. A glittering turquoise ring. I'm interested in that. It gives us the ability to blink N3 AC. And we can't blink as it is, huh? It's good. It's a good ring. I'm glad we found it. New kind of amulet. Oh, I knew I was going to find too much loot here. Not that I'm complaining, I mean, that's a problem, quite a problem to have, you know, too much loot. Let's see what else is going on. Staff of Air, Scroll of Vulnerability, Leather by Manual. We need to drop some things. Hmm. Like, I'm tempted to wear the Steam Dragon armor. It would give me no cold resistance. I'm trying to figure out how to compensate for this. Like, what if I wore the Steam Dragon armor? Hmm. No, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Let's just see how much good loot there is. Jeweled Great Sling, that's pretty neat. A new kind of ring, also pretty neat. Another kind of book could be interesting. And more kinds of staffs. 
Alright, so we gotta figure this all out. New kinds of potions as well. Let's drop a couple of things over here. Let's just drop all our wands. Oh, like, look, we have a couple of redundant wands. Like this wand of paralysis. And meat rations of fruits. Let's see what else we got going on. Book of Hindrance. What's that all about? Eh, mostly hexes. Not really our bag. We can drop that one safely. New kind of ring. What's that all about? Ring of invisibility and cold resistance. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I think that actually is kind of perfect for us. Considering we just dropped... So here's sort of my new plan. We're going to swap out the Ring of Positive Energy. We'll, use, we'll wear the Steam Dragon Armor. Then I can wear the Invisibility and Cold Resistance Ring instead of my Ring of Positive Energy. We'll still have the same resistances, basically, and we'll also be able to wear our Neat Cloak, which gives us the slaying. So I think that is fine. I think that's a good plan, but let's see what else we got. That we don't care about. Scroll vulnerability, eh, we don't really care about that. That's what we dropped. New kind of ring? What is that? Let's just check it out. Protection from magic? Nah, we've got enough of that going on. Book of beasts. New kinds of potions. We'll put on that one. Oh, what? Oh, why didn't I identify it? I'm such an idiot. Take it off. Ugh. Oh. I should have just identified it. I don't know why I didn't. I really don't know what came over me. So now we have to... Yes. Yes. I know, Kiku. You're annoyed. Uh, I can't believe I went through this. So Kiku is more annoyed by Elf than he was by Crypt. Just because of my stupidity. Don't worry. We'll go through Depths again. We're probably going to do Depths next. And then he'll, he'll be fine. It's not like we're really using Kiku's abilities anyway. He does protect us from necroman ne necromantic miscasts. But I don't think we really have too much to be concerned with about that. Okay. So this works. Now we can... Probably safely drop the Amulet of Faith. Well, we'll, we'll keep it, I guess. And then we are definitely going to identify that one. Potion of Beneficial Mutation, which we will quaff right now. We don't have mutation resistance right now, right? Yep. So we'll quaff it. I feel genetically stable. Okay, so that's fine. Somewhat resistant to further mutation. I guess we don't have as much to worry about. But we'll still keep around the potion of, or the uh, amulet of resist mutation anyway. And sort of just uh, go for it. You know, we're proud of our demonic ancestry. You know, we may be unique, but it's not like we're just mutants. You know, we're proud of it. Thin smoking staff, what is that? Staff of cold, nah. Stone of tremors, might be worth carrying. Any other staff? I thought I saw another staff around here. Oh, uh, there was a jeweled curved staff, right? Wield that. Staff fire, okay. Wield the... Yep, alright, good. A manual of crossbows. Okay, well that does make things a little bit more tempting to go and check out what that awesome jeweled arbalest is, but... Uh, not for right now. Not in this game. We got Hellfire. We're pretty happy about that. So yeah, let's see what we can do about this. Were there any other artifacts that we missed? Yeah, well, there's the Elemental Staff, which we still desire. There's the Scimitar of Flaming Death, which is pretty awesome. But is it really for us? With our slaying, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe that is a really good thing to have. Maybe we'll keep it. Uh, Scimitar of Flaming Death. It probably does something cool, too. I mean... 
Let's try wielding it. Occasionally its heat leaks out, covering its opponents in magical flame. Yeah, we would have we would have appreciated this weapon in the swamp for sure. It's like a perfect swamp weapon. Are we wearing tea? Yeah, we should be wearing that, absolutely. And now, let's try wearing our... Yeah, so let's see. Orbit Destruction at 4%. If I wear Steam Dragon Armor, yeah, we'll put it on. It's cursed, but that's okay. We don't have Cold Resistance anymore. But if we put on our Ring... Shiroi... Over our Ring of Positive Energy... That works fine. Well, of course, with the Scimitar of Flaming Death, yeah, that... Yeah, okay. Well, if we wield something more normal, like that... Yeah, okay. So this works out. It brought our AC up to 30. EV is at 20. Not bad. Any magical shields? Nope. Any magical boots? Nope. Any magical hats? No. And we've got $1,500, which is pretty close to being able to afford the elemental staff, right? Yeah. Almost halfway there. So, okay. That was awesome. That was a great Elven Halls experience, seriously. I mean, I am was sort of feeling uh, not so good about our loot situation before. Now I'm feeling like we're just swimming in loot, basically. And uh, we got to figure out what to do about that. You know, we've got just more loot than we know what to do with. Um, so that's perfect. I'm even considering switching in. You know, it might be worth switching in the plus three AC and blink for the plus five AC. Sacrifice two AC for the ability to blink on commands. It is nice to have 30 AC. It's nice to have the ability to blink, too. Yeah, let's do it. I think that's a fair trade-off. And now let's go back to our stash, I guess, because, well... Oh, Deep Elf, Death Mage. So definitely time for more Hellfire on him. Hellfire, Hellfire. Good. We've actually got, like, a proper amulet, you know, proper rings and things. Like, this amulet is really happy about The amulet is almost the best part of the whole thing. Like, check out the amulet. It's really good. Corrosion, magic resistance, intelligence plus two, and stealth. Still unstealthy, but it's like, who cares? We could work up our stealth a little bit, maybe. I don't know. It's just really good. We, I feel like we're just in a much, much better place than where we were a few moments ago. So that was awesome. Just so good. That's why you go to Elf. I mean, we were planning to go there anyway the whole time, but a lot of people say, oh, you just skip Elf, you know, it's not really necessary. It's more dangerous than what it's worth. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, did it look like we were having any trouble? Maybe we were way overcompensated for it, but a lot of people are like, oh, Elf 3 is like the most dangerous place in the game. You get banished there, you know? You get swarmed by Elves at the end there, and it's a big problem. But honestly, it's like... It's not. Yeah. I've definitely died. I died once in Elf 3. And that was because of a situation. I didn't realize that... <laughs> okay, I learned a lesson. I did not realize that when you use the Corrupt ability with um, Lugonu, it, those things are vulnerable to abjuration. And so a lot of summoners can actually make those things just vanish. So I sort of got caught in a melee situation in Elf that I didn't necessarily want to be. And I got hit with a crystal spear for a million damage. So, you know, I got a little bit of respect for Elf that day. But honestly, that was the only time. Oh, we're going to drop this Robe of Cold Resistance. I'm not sure about the Scimitar of Flaming Death. We'll decide that next time. What else we got going on here? Wand of Fireball. Uh, yeah, without... We don't need that anymore. Because we have Hellfire. It's way better. Wand of Hasting is might be worth keeping around, but I'm not sure. Pizza... Magic mapping, I guess. Plus five ring of protection, nah. Amulet of Faith, no. The only reason I'm keeping around the Amulet of Faith is because maybe if we switch to another god later, then we might want to have that at that point, possibly. 
Um, Ring of positive energy, no. Resist mutation will keep. Amulet of warding, no. We got a much better amulet. Restore abilities, no, can stay here. And there we go. That's great. Now we're at 45 out of 52 slots again. Our slaves, our uh, Z branded slaves, are roaming the, the lair here, just killing whatever living creatures they find, making sure that this place becomes completely exterminated of life. Next, I was going to salt the earth to make sure that no plants grow here as well, but that's time for another video because I think that's a good place to call it. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time.